Hi, we are here at Cutting Up Barbershop for the fundraiser for Chief Daryl Daniels. Uh, Daryl Daniels is running for Sheriff of Clay County. Um, Chief Daniels, thank you for sitting down with us. You are fastly approaching a retirement, I understand. Uh, yes, I am. What is it that makes you want to now serve as Sheriff in Clay County, which is a totally different jurisdiction? Well, uh, the tie-in for me in Clay County is you know, although I've had 25 years of law enforcement experience and eight years of military, I've been living in Clay County about 24 and a half of those years that I've been in law enforcement. In fact, you know, when, when my family and I embarked on this career, and I, I say my family and I because it took the whole family to be involved in supporting me in law enforcement, uh, once we undertook this profession and I saw the things that were going on in our immediate area around where I lived, I said, honey, we got to move. <laughs> and uh, we've been living in Clay County ever since. And, you know, my daughter has gone through W.E. Cherry, Orange Park Middle. She graduated from Orange Park High School. And, um, you know, it was a good place to raise a family. And, I, and I've seen a lot of things go on in Clay County, both good, bad, and some in the middle. And uh, just like any community. And uh, the, the knowledge, skills, and abilities that I've learned in this profession I, I intend on leveraging to make Clay County safer, but not just for selfish reasons. But um, I believe that if you make a community safer, then there are better business opportunities for uh, businesses to come to an area that is, is more attractive. It's more attractive because it's safe. And if you have a tangible, tangible, uh, um, statistical information that shows that this area is low in crime, it makes for a safer, at least a feel of a safer community. Let me ask you this. Um, speaking of safer and community, what is it that you think that you're, well, what is it that you're going to do to bridge the gap between the community and the police department here in Clay County? Okay, that's, that's a very fair question. And in this climate in 2016, there's whether it be an organized push or just a result of media attention, there's uh, a lot of tension sometimes between law enforcement and the community. And there's a mistrust of law enforcement in a lot of areas, not just in Clay County, but across the country. Although we're experiencing across the country 44-year lows in crime, people still have a mistrust, some folks, of law enforcement. And to bridge that gap, I want to take several approaches, really a multi-pronged, two-way approach. One is dealing with the law enforcement employees themselves through professionalism and accountability so that I send a clear message that we will treat the public in a certain fashion because over time in this, in this uh, profession, we encounter people and they're at their worst. And over time, everyone starts looking to be at their worst. They call that being jaded. And it's a, it's a phenomenon that happens in law enforcement and should be addressed from the top. And, and I intend on making sure that the officers, the deputies, and all the folks who are required to come in contact with the public understand that I expect them to be professional. Do our jobs, but be professional. Now with respect to the community, I want to set a tone of connecting with law enforcement through neighborhood walks, town hall meetings, a ministerial alliance, and business owners forum. Now, there's a thing that I'll call Sheriff's Coffees that I thought was unique to the profession where law enforcement, the sheriff, and the executive team goes to an establishment. Uh, we serve coffee, not necessarily like waiters, but coffee is available and, and the community can come in and drink coffee with us and just talk with open dialogue, just very informally, to share things that are going on in their communities with us and vice versa. I believe that through continued interactions in a positive way, that on both sides of the fence, the law enforcement and the community, those, those areas of mistrust will be diminished over time. Okay. In your town hall earlier, you talked about holding your officers accountable. How do you propose to do that? Well. 
one thing that I intend on doing early on in my um, time as a sheriff is on day one is to meet with the different watches, that's the different shifts in law enforcement, and address what we, as we call group roll call. Address each individual on each shift and articulate what my expectations are of them so there's no misunderstandings early on. This is what I expect, professionalism. Now there is a time to be firm, but not with the general public at all times. You know, in certain situations, you just have to be and that's what people expect. However, a person who's just going through life, living in Clay County or living in the Northeast Florida region should not feel like they should walk on eggshells or be unnerved because they're passing through Clay County. That's, that's just too much. That's sending the wrong message. And the message I wanna send is that we're community focused, that we love our people who live in Clay County and that we want what's best for them and we're there to serve. And I believe that taking that approach, we bring down those levels of mistrust and by taking those steps to meet people where they are, people understand then that they can trust you. And once people can trust you, then they start advocating for you and doing things and, and having an interest in keeping their own community safer. And then we partner together, I think we can do more collaboratively the law enforcement agencies and the community if we do things together. Okay. Um, speaking of trust and mistrust, do you, what is your approach or what is your stance on patrolling a neighborhood versus policing neighborhoods? That's a very good question. So patrolling a neighborhood lends itself to looking for criminal activity uh, interacting with people in a positive way, not policing people, just interacting in a positive way, but looking to eliminate criminal conduct if you find it. Policing, on the other hand, if I'm understanding you correctly, is in contrast to that philosophy, more of a, I'm gonna say a police state where it's my way or the highway and everybody is kind of bullied around by law enforcement that's that's not what people expect from law enforcement sometimes that's what people get from law enforcement mm -hmm. it's not fair to the public to be exposed to that kind of behavior and it's not fair to the law enforcement officers to allow them to behave that way unchecked and so part of my philosophy again I say is professionalism accountability not just accountability to me as the sheriff, but accountability to the people who put the sheriff in office. It's those same people that call us neighbors, friends, sons, daughters, aunts, uncles, mother, father. And it's those same people that have entrusted us with the power to do what we do in this profession. And you have to earn trust. Trust is not just given freely, you have to earn it.